Good morning, Coach Biker here, and I've decided to do a interim oil change on my bike. It's not due yet, but it's uh, nine months old. I'm about to do some longer journeys. It's supposed to be a lightweight and local bike, but for this bike, I'm going to do a few hundred miles next week. So I think an interim oil change will do, and uh, here's all the gear. <laughs> For that oil kit oil various tools i'm going to put it on the uh, paddock stand as well unnecessary but i'm just going to do that for myself and uh, so that's why the stands there gloves all right let's go and warm the bike up uh definitely need gloves i've in the past burnt myself on an oil change so i know how hot it can get i'm only going to heat the bike up for two or three minutes but still it can be quite warm um, and also I've got the user manual so yeah make sure you've got the actual proper repair manual or user manual for your bike this is a 2019 21 it might be different different years and so uh, you can see it takes you through it it's not difficult it's just convoluted compared to a lot of bikes and that you've got two filters two screens and a drain plug to sort out and all the new o-rings and washers to fit so yeah, before I warm the bike, I'm going to remove the bash plate. I need two screws. Might as well. Two bolts. Right. Do not underestimate these. You need to be properly on them, don't force them, they round off very easily. The screen that is. This can be hot. Gunker armour. Not too bad. A few iron filings aren't not much. So as you can see there's a magnet on there, a few little bits, not much, and there's a new washer in the package so I'm going to fit that and put it pack on the bike and then torque it up. Nice new washer, ooh look at that. Right. Talk that to 20 new meters. Twenty new meters. Right, next up. Remove the screws, take off the cover of the array, put a filter, blah blah blah. So in even the simplest of jobs you can get snags. I cannot get that to come loose. I've tried a magnet, tried the uh, circlip pliers as advised, but I think it's stuck on the back of that. So I'm going to try a little hook. This is the one that I'm putting in. So if I can just reach in and hook it, maybe it'll come out. Maybe I'll have to make two on either side. Let's see. At least it's out. I'm quickly going to replace that. So here's the old one, the O-ring. I put a bit of oil around the O-ring, 
some Motor X 10W50 4T power synth, whatever it's called. Costs a fortune. I think it's 1.7 litres, but check your book because it could be different on your bike. These look to be the same. I don't think they're any different. So there's the old one. Put it on there. Clean it off. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Some uh, oil on that. Put it back on. I'm going to get it back on the bike with the filter in as soon as possible. Newtonian meters. It's barely anything at all. than you expect right well it's out it's the main thing new filter new o-ring there that one first remove the screw plug with the oil screen and the earrings now i know from past experience that you need to be precisely on these and use no excessive force because they round off very easily and then it's trouble Please be kind. Hey. Okay. O ring, O ring, O ring. Three O rings. One of them fits on there. Look at that. It looks like a thread lock on there. Is that a good idea? Weird. Okay. Bit of oil on the O ring. Onto there. Bit of oil on there, on you go. Bit of oil on there. Why not? And into there. And it can go in carefully. You can feel when it's in the right position. Please come undone. Yes. Oh yes, thank you. Right, I'll go and get the other one ready as I did before. Bring it back. No force required, ever. There you go. see some oil in there look it's about level the bike at the moment so that's a good indication all right but i'll start it up let it fill the filters and things and then top up as necessary thank you coach biker is out